The first time I ever experienced a school shooter threat, I was horrified. A girl from my class told me a boy in her class said he would shoot up the school the next day. When she told me, she said she didn't know if it was a joke or not. Joke or not, I didn't care, so we told our teacher. It was a whole thing where they sent messages to parents, got extra security, and went to the kid's house. I remember that when I went to school the next day, it was gloomy, outside and inside. All of my friends were scared. After we had finished lunch, we were walking down the hallway and heard screaming. We all paused with the same look on our faces. This is it. Thankfully, it wasn't. It was just a class next door playing board games and getting excited. But why did we even have to pause like that? Why did I flinch? Why did those terrifying thoughts even have to cross our minds when people were clearly just having fun, but it sounded like terror? The worst part of it all was that I was only in seventh grade having to experience something like that. After that incident, I always had my phone on me and in quiet hallways, I walked in a stance, always on fight or flight mode. This year, I'm in high school. We had a threat this year though. We had a threat this year. It felt more real though. Graffiti was found in the boys' bathroom saying, I'm going to shoot this school up. Be ready to die. And words, I'm going to shoot this school up when you least expect it. And infamously, I'm tired of N-words bullying me. They took care of the situation, but it was really scary. I still went to school that next day because I had to cheer. The school was empty that day, and just like in seventh grade, with the other threat, the day was gloomy. No one came to school. The greatest number of students in all my classes was 14. One of my teachers, one of my teachers joked that we were the I ain't never scared crowd. I wish that was true, but it can't be, not in this day and age. While I was there, I made myself aware of my exits. I even made a plan of how I would run through the woods all the way to my grandparents' house. 5.7 miles isn't a lot when you're scared straight, right? I decided that all I needed was my phone but if push came to shove that I, that I would, it would get left behind. I decided I would run fast as my legs could take me. I decided I would use my intuition responsibly. As an adult, do you get choked up reading this? Do you feel scared for me? Scared for all of us? Do you think things should change or we would continue to just offer thoughts and prayers without action? I think it's shameful that I and kids across this country have to even imagine this or make plans in case it does. Fear is even worse when you're a POC like me because we are often the target. Yolanda Renee King says it best. The older generation has failed ours. It's easy for y'all to say things need to change. It's easy for everyone to say that. In fact, y'all keep saying that, but where's the change? Adults really don't know what it's like to go to school after hearing of countless fatal gun violence incidents. I walk into school sometimes and can't be certain if I'll walk back out. Things have to change. Students are inside hearing about these incidents. It's happening outside of their schools, but it's getting closer and closer. But again, it's only on the outside, right? No, we're in a school where these things keep happening. So we're outside in. We're scared and traumatized. I fear becoming numb because these things are so recurrent that nothing surprises me anymore. I'm an emotional and empathetic person. I cry for people. After Texas, I didn't cry. I felt like I was going to cry, but it wouldn't come out. That scares me. My generation is traumatized and things have to change.